it won't surprise me if the Hawks win. Right. I'm picking the Cavs in six or seven. Mm -hmm. But if the Hawks win, it won't. <laughs> So I can't, I can't have a basketball opinion. You can. I, I can't have a. Ba I'm, not, can. I'm not picking the Hawks. I'm not pick. I am not picking the Hawks. This is a prediction show, and I am picking the Cavs in six or seven. One thing we have to keep in mind is that, and we talked about it on the show, but at the same time, it comes from two different points. Then all of a sudden, you want to say, "Oh, what you know? I need for me. I don't know if I can speak for everybody." This is that in sports. Dead in Sports, back with another video. We're giving you our Eastern Conference Finals preview. Previews last Atlanta Hawks. Like, uh, uh, just kind of, we, you know, predictions. Yeah, we, okay. let's, let's go all the way in, man. Um, Atlanta Hawks here. This is our city. We stay here. Right. This is great for the city. Playing the, the Cleveland Cavaliers. We have a couple of videos. First. Um, the Hawks since 1970 being in the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. yeah. How big yeah. is that? That's crazy. So it was like 40 some years? I, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's been a minute. It's, it's been, been a minute. minute. I don't feel it in the city right now, to be I, honest. I, I don't either, but look, check this out. <laughs> check this out. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold okay. Because I, I see, 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 they already ready to go in. Before we get there, though, I need y'all to check us out every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Um, Vlogs on Radio, Dead in Sports. It's a live show. And we talk about everything that's going on in sports, man. So if it's, the, if it's happening, deadinsports.com. That's easy. It's easy. Dead in sports, everything. Dead in sports, everything. So the socials, the socials, mm -hmm. got a little, 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 little fat tone there. And um, the socials, and um, what else? Blogtalkradio.com. iTunes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Slash subscribe. Slash. Subscribe to iTunes. Leave us a rating, please. And that's it. So you, we, we, I'm, I'm, I don't want to keep you. Go ahead, B. Oh no, I was just about to get started with the combo. I mean, y'all were saying. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to keep him waiting. So let's with, go. I was agreeing with Rob. I don't feel like this is in the Eastern Conference Finals, and I don't know is it because this is more of a football city? Because when, when I was in Detroit, and when we made it to Eastern Conference Finals, even you know in 2004, you felt it. You felt the energy in the city. You felt, you felt the moment was happening. Like you know Eastern why, Conference Finals. Be. I, and I said, well, you knew y'all had an opportunity to win. Uh, do do does Atlanta ooh. really think that they feel like we could win right now? Ooh, so. rough with this. I think so. Well, the reason why I know, and I told Rod this. I said even back in 2004, when we even when we went to the finals, I was like, I don't even know. I don't know if we're gonna. Nobody picked us against the Lakers. Oh, even again, even me. So I was right, like, right, no, right, I don't right. know. Yeah. But what you about to say? As a city, y'all have been yeah. there. You've experienced that. <clears throat> Georgia. I'm not gonna say Atlanta. Georgia has had nothing but letdowns in sports. So it's very hard for Georgia to get behind the Hawks. But, but if and how long how long you been here? Since '97. So when the Atlanta Falcons was in the NFC Championship game in the Super Bowl, did you yep. feel that in this city? Like was that you know what I'm saying? Like did you get that feeling? Well, you gotta remember being it, a football city, a it, football state. Well, first of all, man, first and foremost, in the South, football is king. I don't care where you are. Football is king. Well, with maybe with the exception of Miami, where the Heat mm -hmm. had that little run. Florida is different. Florida is different. It's Florida is different. different. South. But yeah. different football South. is king yeah. in the South. So, mm -hmm. in that aspect, I mean, because you got Georgia, you got Georgia Tech. Those games sell out and everything like that. Not to mention the SEC. So that being said, when you look at basketball, particularly basketball in this city, look at just the four of us. I'm the only Hawks fan. So I like the Hawks. But you're not a fan. I'm not a fan, yeah, but I, fan. I miss the dog. Yeah, you like them, but you're not a fan. I mean, like, I mean, I'm a I mean, fan. I, I, like, Dominique like, is my favorite player. Like, of all I time. go to Hawks. <laughs> I go to Hawks games. I've had season tickets, like mm -hmm. that type of fan. So he's Hawks like you Lakers. Like yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, I feel you. Like, I, I, I was just saying, I, I didn't yeah. want it to go unknown right. that <laughs> Dominique Wilkins so is my favorite player. Like when you you mentioned about the the fans, that's why like I feel the energy in the city, but I see it from a fan fans perspective. I think. It's a little different, but it goes back to what you said. There, there is a strong pop part of the population that don't want to get too hyped because they, they don't feel like they, they don't believe. Maybe it's just me, but I agree that the energy amongst the city isn't that, oh, we're going to win. Is that the energy is, you feel? It is amongst, it is amongst okay, Hawks fans. It is amongst Hawks fans well, now. Fans. But, that, but now, and, and even, step, even separating your, your fandom, I think it's, 
people really feel like they have a little, especially with Kyrie being hurt mm -hmm. and LeBron, you know, having to do more and Kevin Love being out, I think people think that we have a shot. So okay. did the Bulls. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, of course, you're supposed to wait, feel wait, like wait. the team So, so you mean to tell me, you mean to tell no, me that, that really they struggled. No, people really felt like the Bulls were going to beat the team and Kevin Love. I mean, so not have a shot. Beat because I mean, of the but wait, the wait, Bulls wait, wait. were healthy going into that game, into the into so the, that, that series. Well, look, let, 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 let's look at what Atla what what Atlanta just just went through. Right, they mm -hmm. went through the Wizards, and at times the Wizards looked like the better team. Right, even without they a lost job. John Wall for three games, and, right. and 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 they still struggle with a John Wall less team. Now, when I look at the Cleveland others. Mm -hmm. Their others are way better than Washington's others. Mm -hmm. We're talking G, uh, JR, Amon, uh, Tristan Thompson. These are better players than Washington's others. Right. And then you're talking about adding on top of the others, the best basketball player in basketball right now. Right. I don't think. What about the bench? Uh, the, hey, we're looking at the bench, what happens okay. when we go when, when, to when the bench? When you go to the bench, yeah, the, be the, the Hawks bench is better than Cleveland bench. I'm not even going to make that argument at all. Right. That could, be an that could be an advantage. That could be an advantage. That could be an advantage. But again, we're, I'm going off of what I just saw. What I just saw, these boys were struggling. And, and, and the primary person that is struggling, he needs to step his game up if they're going to beat Barber. this. No. Teague. Especially with Kyrie going through these ailments and everything. I think that the Hawks go as far as Teague goes. Of course. Goes. They definitely do. They he definitely needs, do. And it's not about just scoring. It's about being aggressive. How do you think the coaching situation is going to go with with the oh, yeah, coach of the year look, look. against uh, yeah, against look. a new uh, what new guy that won a Euro oh, championship well. the year before. Yeah, so now this this is where you, this is where the money is being made right, right here. Listen. Right, the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, now, like Greg we always Popovich, say, a Greg Popovich disciple, disciple right? Yeah. And we always say playoffs is, is evolved around matchups and coaching. coaching. So. How, who do you think got the advantage as far oh, as coaching wise? Coaching wise, Buddha. Come on, man. This Buddha Hoser was there for all of those five championships. No. Or four championships. He was there for four out of the five championships in San Antonio. I think Buddha Hoser, as a coach, coaching versus coaching, he has the advantage. But I think players versus players, I think Cleveland does. Would and you I have given Thibs the advantage going into the Bulls Cavs series over Black? I would have, but I think that right, I so think his roster. Yeah, I, I just think throw it out. Yeah, yeah, throw it out. yeah. Throw it out. He's it in is. five years had a fully healthy team and lost three straight, two it, at home. They got smacked. They got pushed around. Yeah, man. Look, I, I barely luck. They got lucky. They won another game. They should have been gone in five. Right, let's let's, let's just see. get to it, man. Who yeah, winning, so, man? So, who so, winning, so man? Who winning, man? I think I see Cleveland in six or seven, with or without Kyrie. Um, just because when you're talking about the best basketball player, right? With or without Kyrie? <laughs> with or without Kyrie, I think they win the six or seven. Uh, um, I think, I, I just think LeBron's too much for them. Right. I, I, I just think that he's too much for them. Now, without Kyrie, I don't think they can beat the Western Conference team without him. But I, th I think they could beat the Hawks. And the way that they've been playing, again, I'm going off of what I've seen right, in right. these playoffs. Based off of what I've seen, I, I, they're not playing. I think they peaked too early. They didn't go into the playoffs playing their best basketball. And I think that that's hurting them now because every team goes through ups and downs and you're going to go through some struggles. Shots aren't going to fall even when you run your offense. It just it happens. But you don't want it to happen going into the playoffs. And that's what happened to the Hawks. And they're, and they're getting by and they're playing good basketball in spurts, but they're not playing consistent basketball. And I think that the only thing that's going to really hurt the, the Cavs is that they're number one in isolation plays. So we're talking about the best or one of the best uh, offensive offensive basketball moving teams in the Hawks versus the number one isolation heavy team. I think LeBron is going to be too much. That's just me. Maybe it's fandom. I'm trying to take it away. I'm trying to look at it objectionally. But just based off of what I've seen with the Hawks, I'm taking the Cavs. They're 3-1 and one against Cleveland this year. How many teams have, have, have beat the Cavs and um, have a winning record? I just wanted to put that out there. Who That's you got cool, beat? Bro. I remember, even though it's the regular season, but I remember right <laughs> after when the Hawks beat Cavaliers last night they played, the, they asked LeBron. LeBron was like, you know, Hawks did something I've never seen before. Right. Like, they right. played a type of defense against me that I've never seen before. Now, granted, it's a series, so now he can adjust. The coach, they can adjust. But if, but let, if they keep it, right, I mean, if, if it right, works, it works. If it works, it works. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It against any great game. player, it's not going to work four games. It's not going right. to work, right. work four games. Can it work a game or two? I give you that. Right. I give you that. But are you going to shut LeBron down four games? No. I, 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 I put my money on LeBron. <laughs> without, a, without, a, without a healthy Kyrie and without a K-Love, 
I mean, you, you're going to ask J.R. Smith and Della Vadova and those guys to beat you. Right. And I think that's where the Hawks have uh, somewhat of an advantage. I mean, we all know the, there's no separation between LeBron and, and the Hawks' best player because right. it doesn't exist. Yeah. I like the Hawks in seven. I think it's going to be tough. You know what I'm really interested to see? I'm really interested to see what people have to say on social media because we know LeBron gets a lot of hate. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if these pseudo Miami Heat Ooh. fans come back to the bandwagon or if they jump on the Hawks bandwagon just to root against LeBron. Yeah. I want to, that's what I, I am more interested in that from a, a fan's perspective. I want to see how How that many Hawk out. fans show up because they, they're playing against LeBron and they want to see LeBron lose? Of course. I, I'm interested in but, seeing but that too. But you know what Kyle, to your point, like, it won't surprise me if the Hawks win. Right. I'm picking the Cavs in six or seven. Mm -hmm. But if the Hawks win, it won't. <laughs> So I, can't, I can't have a basketball opinion. You can. I, I can't have a basketball opinion. I'm not picking the Hawks. I'm not pick. I am not picking the Hawks. This is a prediction show, and I am picking the Cavs in six or seven. But I'm just saying, as a team, as a team, it will not. We're talking about one of the best. I, I said it. One of the best offensive moving teams versus the number one isolation team. So it won't surprise me it, it, because you're talking the, the recipe that the Spurs did. Right, yeah. So it won't I, surprise I, I, me, but I'm picking the Cavs and your, I'm sticking with that. To your point, I think what, one thing that hurt the Hawks, and we talked about this during football season too as well, a lot of times when teams clinch early, they tend to relax. Mm -hmm. And I think the Hawks clinching so early, they took their foot off the gas, they started resting guys, and we saw even Golden State struggle a little mm -hmm. bit down the stretch. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the it Hawks like aren't a team that you can just turn the light switch on and off. And I think a lot of times when teams clinch early, they don't have necessarily that killer mentality and they lose a little bit of their edge. And I think that's what happened. That being said, it took them a minute to kind of figure Brooklyn out. Um, have, not having Wall on the court, Washington became a different type of team. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't figure it out, but they eventually made enough plays. No, you're right, they have not played the way that we've seen them play all year, but they figured out ways to win. And, and so as a fan, I kind of see it as, Kind of like the gift and the curse. Mm -hmm. You're you're happy that you won, but you also think like you can't beat win like you, that. You, you can't, can't keep winning like that. Uh oh, you can't win consistently. Uh oh, series. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like like if the Hawks, this, if the Hawks would have came in right to the playoffs and throughout the playoffs playing like the Hawks that we seen when they went right. on that on that whole month, they're the only team in NBA history to go a month undefeated. Right. And we, if I would have seen that, I would have. Yeah, hands yeah. off with the Hawks. Yeah, but I haven't seen that, so I, I agree and, with and you. And I think I think that's what's going to be key because you have to now you've run up into a team where you can't turn it off and turn it off because it, 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 at, at the end of the day it's LeBron. So I'm interested to see how what kind of adjustments they make as far as guarding him. You don't have Cephalosha who's out for the year, right. uh, who's a huge defensive uh, gem for them. But Demar um, doing his job. Demar Carroll has, has performed. I love you him, know, man. He's, he's perform but I like him. I mean, like if you him. look at the Hawks, I, outside of being a fan, I understand why people don't necessarily want NFL to pick the Hawks. The Hawks have guys that look like. Like that might get some running, running shoot. You know what I mean? Like they don't have so, like they, there's no star. And we talked about it on the show. Yeah. Like they don't have yeah, stars. So they don't have a go-to guy per se. But they run their plays and they run their sets. And that's how even like you look at the last game. That's how they got buckets at the end running their sets. Yep. They find it. They move out the ball. Wide open layups. Yeah, he's wide yeah. open layups, and you should never get a wide open layup with 50 seconds left in a game. But I mean, they they find a way. So I just I think you, ultimately it'll come down to seven. I like the Hawks. Kyrie, if Kyrie plays, man, I mean, if he plays like he did against the Bulls, I think they'd be straight. But if he don't play, or if he's not like fully, fully, 100%, like 40%, I think the Hawks will get him, man. As far as their Jeff Teague. He said it's six. Yeah. I said Hawks. I, I think the Hawks will get him, I think man. it's early, so too. You, I just don't so think, what, I, I what think it's going to be so much on LeBron. I don't, oh, man. So, wait, wait, wait. So, so, what's, so what's, what's your answer? The health is bothering no, 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 Wait, wait, Don't nobody say that. <laughs> I said Hawks. Hawks and what? Six. Hawks and six. What about you, Ken? You <sighs> going with LeBron, man. You know it. Yeah. Uh, you know what, man? Here, look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I told you guys. I told them all year. The Bulls are not a problem. The Cavs, they are not a problem. I said it every, every single also game. Said Le and I got, be a problem. And I got jumped on every show. I said this about the Pacers last year, they didn't listen. And I said this about the Bulls this wait, year. Wait, wait, wait. So at no point you feel like the Bulls was a problem. The only. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. Exactly. I will be a man. Wait, wait, no, no, no. And, and I, look, when they got hurt, when when they when Kyrie went down, 
I was a little worried. I was a little worried. I was a little worried. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. But I figured they, they, the Bulls, man, they just found a way to lose. They did not worry me. I picked the Bulls and sit. I mean, the Cavs and sit. And I was right. Okay. They won three straight. I told everybody. Raph was with me. Raph understood. Yeah, thought, Raph was with me. But I got jumped on. Kyle yelled at me on the last show. He yelled talking at me. Talking that gibberish, man. But anyway, that so that being said, <clears throat> the team that everybody felt could beat the Cavs this year lost. lost three straight with the team that was limping. I got the Cavs winning this in five games. Okay. Oh. And, and I'll tell okay. you why I think this will go five. Okay. For one, that defense. They threw something at me I ain't never seen before. They were losing big in that game. They came back and tied the game. Didn't they take yep. the lead? Yep. Yep. There was adjustment. People have said, a lot of people have said, LeBron is the smartest guy in basketball. His basketball IQ is high. They say, I've even read reports saying that he has a photographic memory. That ain't going to work again. And so I, I think that defense is not going to work again. Plus, let's be real, man. The, the Hawks have not looked good. They didn't look good against Brooklyn. They didn't look good against the, uh, the Wizards. And without I told John Wall. Without That's John big. Wall. And if John Wall would have been able to play for I three they games, they would have won that series. Yeah. The if, Hawks. If, but if, sometimes. If, okay, I'm sorry. Let's I, get, I, and you can, can, get can do the if thing. The fact that, and the Hawks, and I've seen this throughout the regular season when they started to struggle, mm -hmm. the Hawks come out slow and they go through scoring droughts and they went through scoring droughts in the playoffs. They're not, I think this is going to be, I'm with Rod. Rod may not agree with the pick, but yeah. I think it's going to be over in five. I think the Hawks, they, they, they fig, the Cavs have figured out a way to play. They've adjusted the plan without Kevin Love. And their speed now, now they can move a lot faster without without. You, Kevin you know Lowe. why they've been really easy? Why why the adjustment without Kevin Love has been so be easy? Because Tristan Thompson is the best offensive rebounder in the NBA, right? And you have guys that are out here shooting. J.R. Smith shoots the rock when he gets Shumpert's it. Playing. Shumpert's balling right now. You know LeBron is going to shoot, and because LeBron has struggled with his jump shot. In the last series. In the last series. In the last series. But even kind of throughout. He's been off in the three. The, but, but, but think about this. I'm not talking about his, his efficiency. Three pointers, his three-pointers have been mm -hmm. off. He struggled against the Cavs. Mm -hmm. At some point, it's going to go the other of way. Of course. But, 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 but to my point, why Tristan has been such a big impact is because even though these guys are missing, he's eating down there. Yeah. He's eating. Yeah. I think he's averaging like four offensive rebounds. Like, Four offensive Mills rebounds. Millsaps and Horford is going to be a problem because they attack the glass relentlessly. Okay, but but I'm just saying, Cleveland's front line matches up. My 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 only question is, can Mozgov keep up with Horford's versatility? Is he willing to step out and and, and, and try to defend that 18 foot shot? Because Horford's going to shoot that. He can defend the 18 all day. foot shot. But, I, but I, do I, you I, want to come out? That's what I'm saying. But he and, has uh, to. Yeah, of course he has, he has to. to. But that I mean, Nene did. And 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 I think and and again. I don't blame anybody for not picking the Hawks. I understand why people won't pick the Hawks. I just, I want to see the reaction. Should, let, like you said, five. Let's say, as Rod said, if the Hawks won in five, what is the narrative? There's no excuse for LeBron to lose to this team. Why not? At that, why not? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? They're way more healthier than the Hawks. They have, again, they have a healthy Nobody's advantage. Nobody's picking the Hawks to win. But the yeah. Hawks have won. So not, if the Hawks win this series, LeBron will get crucified. No, let me tell you why he nobody's will. picking. He will. He will, he will. get crucified. Will. But will. let me tell you why nobody's picking the Hawks. It's because it's the Hawks. Of course. It's their reputation. I, I, I it's their pedigree. And, and you know what, Ken? Has, I, 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 don't, I don't knock anybody for not picking the Hawks. But I, 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 I separate and, and, and I know you said that, though. but I guess what I'm trying to say is nobody's giving the Hawks the props. We've seen what the Hawks. Of course. There were times this season where I've said, that team is going to win a championship right, right. this year. And we talked about it. They were playing show. that great. Right. And I was like, man. Right. The way they're playing on offense, the way everything is moving, they're going to win a championship. I, I haven't seen and that. I, and I, I think it's a good thing that they haven't played like how they've been playing. You know what I'm saying? Because like in history, like when people start off so good, they kind of let they you know foot off the mm -hmm. pedal. So now it's like it's all or nothing at this point. Right. You know what I'm saying? You you have to you have to play how you were playing before. Exactly. And now and I know they know that. 
They, they have to know that. And then it's about it, it, the level talk, of competition. I think that's one thing that I look at when I look at the Cavs, the, the Hawks. They know we beaten them three out of four times this year. That, We're extremely confident. You always say yeah. you guys always say confidence. Right, yeah. I'm telling you, it goes. They're not afraid of LeBron. No, they they want to be. Not, they they, they look, want to. You saw the look on Carol's face when they interviewed him. No, he wasn't. started quivering. He started quivering. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. No, he didn't say that with confidence, Kyle. He didn't say that with confidence, Kyle. He said it. No, he was like, he was like, uh, yeah, you know, well, you know, he's. You know, we beat him three out of four, but you know, it's the playoffs. The playoff LeBron is different. I think that LeBron has had a horrible postseason so far. By his standards, yeah, he has. And at any given moment. He can snap. He'll win one or two. I've always said this. The formula for him, yeah, he'll, he'll win one or two. By himself. And Will and the team have, win one? We saw the team one game since. That he, wasn't LeBron. He's going to have to have at least two games where he goes video game LeBron, where he just goes off. But that's going to happen. You can pencil that in, though. But, I mean, and we haven't seen it, and I think that's a concern to some. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I still think, I mean, the Cavs are dangerous because – they have figured it out. Like Ken said, they have figured out how to play together even without love. It's playoff basketball. Sometimes it's good to have those mm -hmm. grind-out games because mm -hmm. as a team, it teaches you. Yeah, as a team, you learn yep. how to, hey, guess what? We, we got through seen this it tough with the Lakers. Yeah, we, 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 seen it every, we got, seen it with we the got through this tough, we got through this yeah. tough win against the Wizards. That game when yeah. um, Hawford grabbed the rebound. It builds like, character. Like, right. yeah, yeah. It, build, it, it builds character. Game character game especially for a team like this. Especially for a team like this. Because if a team like this was coasting through it, they will crumble at the end. I mean, you that with with uh with uh Cleveland like when they got to the uh Spurs like yeah. they got swept they got yeah. swept you know what I'm saying was, the Cavs struggle in the last series mm -hmm. we've seen them struggle with Boston you know even though they won in four yeah. The, yeah, but I'm just saying for the Hawks, that's why you just, that's why I'm But like, I'm saying you can say the same thing for the Cavs. The Cavs, have, let's be real, the Cavs won this, se this series. It wasn't pretty and it didn't look good. Exactly. Yeah. They mm -hmm. had a grind it out. It could have really went either they way. They had to grind yeah. it out. That they team was fully out. healthy and the Cavs were hurt and yeah. they that's struggled in that you're series. You're saying, you're saying like the case that would make it for I think Atlanta. you can make the case for the Cavs. I agree with that. I agree with that. They could easily revert back to the Hawks. You know that we saw early, and if they do, if they, they do. They, they, that's that's going to be tough. They, they can be. They can I'm, <laughs> I'm with Rap. I haven't yeah. seen it. Yeah. yeah. And I've seen this for a while. After the All Star break, they struggled. Okay. I'm not saying I, I see where you're going, and I can see how you can apply the 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 taking their foot off the gas. I don't think that's the case. I mm. think so. I don't I think, think that's think the so. case. I, I, I think, think that they started the. Re I think they built up such a significant lead over everybody in the East mm -hmm. that. The 79 Hawks that we saw before they snapped and went on their win streak, I think it's kind of came back now. So, basketball is a game of runs. I mean, we've seen teams <laughs> this playoff blow leads. I think it's it's really going to be about the matchups, it's going to be about the coaching, and it's going to be definitely about the adjustments, what goes in game to game. Because LeBron's going to be LeBron. Mm -hmm. You know, the stars are going to be stars. It's going to be how your role players and your bench players Play. They're gonna be the ones to make the difference in the series. The coach. Trust me. And then yep. my thing is too is like I know we always say, oh, how they play the regular season and stuff. Like this is the playoffs. We all know playoffs is another ammo. Mm -hmm. If a player goes down in the playoffs, guess what? Players gonna step up yep. because it's the playoffs. Why not give props that it's the playoffs and players gonna play better? And you know I think what I'm one of the things we know it's gonna be a lot more intense. All right, man. That's it, man. Um, that's our Easter Conference preview. Make sure you tune in. We're gonna be covering this series throughout on the show. Every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Blog Talk Radio. And, um, and that's it, man.